Hey guys, it's Lauren Hefez and today we're in my kitchen. We're going to be doing a bar workout in my kitchen. You can use any kind of surface that you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be your kitchen counter, but just make sure it's really sturdy because eventually we're going to be doing push-ups and you're going to want to have something that's not going to roll away from you like a chair. If you do have a chair for this workout though, however, and you want to do push-ups, you could just get down to the ground and do your push-up series there, or on a wall, works awesome too. But let's start behind the mat. So let's take a nice inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll down that body, wiggle out your legs, give it a little stretch, relax that neck, shake it side to side. Let's walk your hands out and just warm that body up into a nice plank, pushing away from the mat, squeezing in those inner thighs. At any time you need to modify, you can drop to the tops of your thighs, you can drop to those forearms. We're gonna pull in for 10. We take it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You walk your hands back to your feet. You round your back and you roll your body up. We tuck the chin in again. You scoop in that belly, round forward, lower down that neck, shake it out. Walk your hands out, hold that plank. Squeeze those inner thighs together. We cross through the center for 10, nine, cross it, eight, knee to elbow, six, five, four, three, Two and one, we hold, squeezing those inner thighs together for 10, nine, scooping in that belly, pushing away from the mat for five, four, three, two, you walk your hands back to your feet, bend your knees and roll up. One more plank to warm that body up, scoop it down, roll it. Take a breath, shake out those legs. Walk your hands out, this time we're gonna take a little tap. You take it out and in, out and in. Now if you want to advance this movement, you're going to start to jump it out. If you'd rather stick to the tap, that's fine. Take it five, four, three, two, one. Hold it center for four, three, two. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bend the knees and roll up. Your body should be warm. We're going to get to the bar work. So you're going to start with your, either your right or your left hand on your bar, and we're gonna bring our heels together. Other hand goes on the hip. Lower down slightly, scoop in the butt, lift your heels up, just about an inch or two off the ground. Now you wanna make sure your heels are really glued together, your butt is not sticking out, it's nice and pulled down, straight down into the floor. We're gonna take it down an inch and up, down an inch and up. Now the movement here is really, really slow. It's not ballistic, it's control, down and up. This counter space, you don't want to be leaning on it. It's a nice light touch. You can even stand up further away from it. Only your fingertips may be touching it. Now this is cool because if you can remember some of these exercises or if you can put it on your phone or your iPad or, or even your TV if you have one near your kitchen, you can be cooking. We're just gonna be going up and down for a little bit here. And while your onions are frying, you can be lifting and lowering your legs. You can run over there, circle it up again, do 10 more reps. So kind of be creative with this movement. You can work out anywhere, anytime, and this proves it right here. So I'm literally just going up and down, really starting to burn my thighs. And now we're gonna take the pulse down and down. So the accents on the down, now pay attention to your knees. You want those knees to go over your second and third toe. So you don't want the knees to come in, you want them to go nice and out, down and down. Pulling deeply in that stomach, sitting up nice and tall, making sure not to hinge front because that takes all the work out of your quads. Lifting up, all gravity is taking you down through that center. Down and down. Now hold it through center, glue those heels in a little bit tighter. Start to wrap those heels behind you. I'm sorry, your knees behind you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. It's not a rest, but you're gonna squeeze your legs up. So yes, it might feel like a little release, but I want you to really think of crushing in those inner thighs, squeezing your butt, pulling in your low stomach. You lower it down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up, that's it. Down, squeeze up. Down, crush the thighs, take it four, and crush. Three, squeeze in. 
two, squeeze in. Last one, we're gonna hold it down to finish off with our pulse. Get a little deeper this time, you can do it. Maybe an inch or two deeper. Crush those heels a little tighter. Now can you balance? Maybe you take one arm off, shoulders down your back. You take the other arm up and over. Focus front and pulse to finish for 10, nine, eight. Let's get deeper. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out those legs, take it to the back of the mat. We have more planks. Roll it down, shake out those legs, walk your hands back. Squeeze from those inner thighs. We pull in for 10, 10, nine, eight, seven. My legs are jelly. I worked out yesterday doing the same bar series and I definitely felt it. Four, three, two, and one. We pull 10, nine, eight, seven. Squeeze those thighs. Five, four, three, two. You cross your center, pull it in. In, I want that knee coming all the way across that body, pulling into that knee for four, three, two, one. Hold it in tight, pushing away from that mat. Squeeze your inner thighs for four, for three, for two, and one. We tap it out and out. Keep that spine long. Keep pushing away from the mat for more of a challenge. Start to jump out those legs. Four more, guys. Three, two, and one. Hold it ten, nine, eight. Seven, push deeper. Five, four, three, two, walk your hands back. Bend and roll up. Take a breath, I'm gonna take a drink, and we got more bar work. Time for some push-ups. Now, you're gonna want your hands a little wider than your chest, and you're gonna go up on your tippy toes. You want your body at a nice angle. So you don't wanna be here, because that range of motion is terribly small. You don't want to be here, because that's just not the correct way to do a push up. Think of your chest coming right down to that countertop. Elbows wide, you press away. You take it down, press away. Down, press away. Inner thighs are squeezed. You're up on your tippy toes. You exhale as you push away from that countertop. Down and up. Now you can do these same things on or these push-ups on the wall too. Just make sure your hands, keep going. Make sure your hands are just aligned with your chest and you're still at that angle. You're still up on your tippy toes. Now we're gonna start to press away. Catch yourself, press away. Now this is when you really need a sturdy surface. Catch yourself, Get away. Catch yourself, press. Abs are in, I push. Make sure you catch yourself so you don't face plant into your counter because it might happen. Three more. Press, two more, press, last one. Now hold it low for me, here we go. We pulse 10, nine, elbows wide, chest is open for five, for four, for three, for two, hold it, three, two, one, and push. Ooh, take a breath, stretch back a little bit. You can open up to stretch that chest on the countertop, it's really nice. The countertop is really nice. Okay, now we're gonna get some butt work in. So let's start with your right or left arm down on the counter like so. I'm gonna move my cutting board so you can really see this. And then my opposite arm or your opposite arm open wide. The arm that's open, you're gonna lift up that leg. You're gonna wrap it behind you. You're gonna scoop in your stomach and soften your supporting leg. So notice my hips, they're nice and open. My leg is parallel to the floor behind me. This is a little complicated to get, but it's one of my favorite butt series. Flex your foot, scoop in the stomach, other arm is for support, and you start to wrap your leg behind you. So if this is a hard position and you're not getting it, I'm gonna start you from the top. If you're getting this, continue to squeeze into that butt. An easier way to start would be to start with squared hips to the front of the counter, bend your leg in half. Lift up your leg to open it, Turn your body completely so that it's nice and open, and then start to wrap. So sometimes if you don't start in the right position, it can be confusing. So one leg is soft, one leg is bent and lifted, and pay close attention. You're squeezing this top butt. It's not going crazy, but you're really using that oblique to help you hold it up. The side butt, you're working your hamstring, the back of your butt, your supporting leg. It's very normal for your supporting leg to feel it. Scooping in that stomach, relaxing through your shoulders, and you're just squeezing in your butt. 
Keep working, I'm gonna show you a quick little thing. That movement is the same as this movement right here. It's just a different position. Lift it up, Whew. squeezing into that butt. You're almost done here. That leg is fighting against gravity, it's lifting nice and high. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna extend your leg long, and you're gonna lower and lift that leg. You can still soften your supporting leg. You can take your other hand to your hip if you want. You can reach it up onto your counter. You can keep it out nice and wide. I want you to reach this leg. Now what I don't want to happen is your leg to come in front of you. I need you to reach that leg nice and behind you, lower and lift. Now the great thing about this is that most of us have two legs and you will have to do this again on the other side. Down and up, really reaching through that leg, squeezing in your butt, reaching long. Now maybe, can you lift up your bottom foot so that just your heel is popped up? Can you hold up your leg? Can you pulse it out? Guys, this isn't an advanced move. If you need to drop the heel, you can, but I want you to keep that leg long. I want you to keep the squeeze in that side. Now, rather than leaning on the counter, can you press yourself up a little higher? Keep the leg bent, keep the leg straight. You should start to feel a little pitch in the side of the body. You can still use that counter for support, but now try to use that upper body to squeeze into your side. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. This is where your kitchen sink comes in handy. Bring your legs together, arm next to the kitchen sink. Let your hips fall. Stretch out, ooh, the side of that body. And lift up, stretch out, ooh. Bring a nice twist front, shake it out. Now for this part of it, I'm gonna show you my back side because I have to do the other side. So we're gonna start facing the counter. Hinge front a little bit, kinda lean on that counter. So you're not super close to it, you have to stand about a foot and a half to two feet away from the counter. Lean front in it. Bend one leg back. Open up the leg. Take that arm, take one arm open, and then open up the hip all the way. So your leg is parallel to the floor under you. I'm gonna talk, but can't really look at you, but hopefully you can hear me. So you're gonna start to wrap that leg around. Scooping in that belly, press and press, press and press. Wrapping to squeeze. This is what I'm going to do, guys. Hold on one second. I feel like I can't ignore you. So I'm going to go like this. Da -da! Here we go. So, same thing, just opposite leg. We're starting to wrap around, scooping in that stomach. Whew. Wrap and wrap. The back of the butt is working, your hamstring, your supporting leg. What often happens when I see people do this, is their leg starts to drop, they're bringing their leg too far front and too far back, and they're not really focusing on just the back movement. You want your hip to be open. Again, your hand can be on your hip, it can be reaching up, it can be behind your head. Behind your head makes it a little more difficult. I like it on my hip, but whatever feels good to you. Squeezing and pressing back into that butt, pulling that core in. Arm can also be on the counter to give you a little bit more support here. Push and push, push and push. I'm wrapping and I'm feeling it. So again, this is an advanced movement. I want you to let me know down in the comments below how you did. Were you able to get the move? Did you feel it in the right places? Did you feel confident in it? I want to know so I can get good feedback so it'll be cool to know what you're doing and how you're feeling. Wrap it. All right, 10 more guys. Little squeeze is 10. Nine, it's like you're, oh, this is a good cue. It's like you have butter under your thigh and you're rubbing that butter all on the floor under you, front and back, front and back. Five, four, three, two, okay, let's see if I have room, extend the leg long. It's little pulses up into that leg. So again, your hand can go on your hip. The main thing is that I don't want the leg to come in front of you, I really want it to reach back. Scooping in that stomach, reach long through that leg. Even when I'm in this position, I start to feel my obliques work a little bit. You're gonna tap and lift, tap and lift, tap 
squeeze up. Try not to swing the leg, control it. Only that leg is moving in your body. You lengthen and lower. You lengthen and lower. You reach, squeeze, and down. Crush the butt. Lengthen you can do that leg for four, woo, three, two. Now we hold it up and we pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You hold, you lift up onto that heel if you can. You start to continue to pulse here. Now, if you feel great, I'm gonna scoot back just a little. You're gonna lift your body up and you push against that counter. So you have a nice squeeze on that side of that body. Your chest is lifted for eight, seven, reach at six, five, four, three, two, hold it, three, two, one, and release. Shake out that booty, go to your kitchen sink, grab onto the side, ooh, good stretch. And lift up, and stretch, and wrap to the center. You can also cross your ankles over your knees, take a good stretch on that hip. And lift up, take a good stretch on that other hip. And lift up. All right, we're gonna do some more thigh work. Let me move this guy out of the way. Bring your legs together, inner thighs squeeze, hand on the countertop, you're gonna lift up, onto what we call releve. Opposite hand on the hip. I don't care what hand it is, I don't care which direction you're facing, it's pretty much all the same thing. Bend your knees over your toes and your back is gonna go straight down. Now let's try that, go straight up and straight down. So the only thing that's happening is your knees are bending, your back is staying straight and you're lowering down. Now make sure when you're going down, you're not dropping your heels you're keeping your heels as high as possible. I'm gonna to turn to my profile so you can see my heels stay high, my knees bend. Now, if it's easier for you to face that counter and put both hands on the counter for a little more balance, totally fine. A little more of a challenge, one arm. Just barely touching that counter. Now we hold it low. You scoop the tailbone down, just straight down neutral spine, a little bit lengthen through that low back, scooping in that stomach, Shoulders are stacked over the hips. We start to pulse down. Just like we did in first position when our heels were together and our toes were separated, same movement. Lifting that chest, squeezing the knees. I'm literally thinking about squeezing the knees. Sometimes you can take, how about a paper towel roll and squeeze it. You're gonna probably have a squish paper towel roll after, but that's okay, it's all good. Or you can take a towel, a dish towel, whatever you want. Something where you actually can squeeze and feel that tightness. Ooh, feeling those inner thighs burn, feeling your quads burn. 10 here, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold, open up the knees, take your item out. You're gonna straighten your legs, squeeze your thighs and lower. Squeeze up and lower. Again, not a release, it's really a nice lengthen and squeeze through those thighs. For four, four, three, four, two. Last one, I want you to hold it low. Tailbone is long, you pulse down again. Crush those knees, you can take your towel, put it in between your legs. I want you to keep moving, don't stop. We're gonna add, we're gonna do 10 more here, then we're gonna add a little pulse of the knees, and you'll see what I mean. You don't want anything in your thighs when you do this. Three. Two, take everything out of the legs. You go in, 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 in. You clap, 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 clap. Sit an inch deeper, I know you can. My thighs are shot because I taught class yesterday and the day before and my legs are so sore. So doing this right now is really painful. Clap the thighs for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. One arm overhead, the other arm overhead. Lift your heels up higher, squeeze your knees. Shaking is awesome, I hope by this time you're shaking. Lower down. Pick up those heels if you drop them, just like I did. Lower, tailbone as long for four, for three, for two, and one. Shake out your legs. You're gonna grab one leg behind you. Soften your opposite leg, scoop your butt under, squeeze your knees together, take a breath. Take it to the other side. Open up through that quad. So we did a lot of lower body focus work today. I'm gonna take you down to the mat where you do some upper body push-ups. So you can drop to the tops of your thighs, you can stay straight arm, straight leg, any kind of push-up you want, hands are wide. 
We're going to do three sets of ten with different variations. We're going to take a simple one to start, just down and up for ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Sit back into the heels and rest for four. Three. Two. And one. Back up. Straight legs or bent knees. We take it down for three. Up for one. Down. Two. Three. Up. One. That's one. Down. Two. Three. That's two. Down. Two. Three. Three. Down. Two. Three. Four. Down. Two. Three. Five. Down. Two. Three. Six. Down. Two. Three. One. Down. Two. Three. Eight. Down. Two. Three. Nine. Down. Two. Three. Ten, sit back for four, three, two, and one. We're going to go quick down, slow up. So down for one, up for three. You have ten, and you guys are done. Let's do this. Quick, slow, slow, one. Quick, slow, slow, two. Quick, slow, slow. It gets really hard. Quick, slow, slow, four. Quick, slow, slow, five. Quick, slow, slow, six. Oh my god, it hurts. One, two, three, two more. One, two, three, last one. One, two, three, sit back. Oh man, push ups are definitely my weakness. Let's open up your chest. Drop your head to one side and the other side. All right, we're going to stand up. We have one more booty series and you're done. Let's face the bar, your countertop. You're going to put your hands on the counter or sit up tall. Let's see what I want you to do. Yeah, soften your supporting leg. Take your hands on the counter, facing the front. You're going to lift your leg and lower. That's all. Now, what's really going to happen here is that your supporting leg is going to feel it more, most likely, than your lifting leg. And that's really all we want here, is that supporting leg to feel the work. And I'm not leaning on my counter, just a little support, down and up. Now you're not swinging your lifting leg. You're really just kind of squeezing up through that butt. You're hinged front just a little bit. You could even step back a little bit more, softening your supporting leg. It's really important that your supporting leg is not straight, that it's bent, because that's really going to help work that butt. Give me four, three, two. Now hold up the leg. You're going to bend the knee and press. Bend and press. Now maybe you just take fingers here. Your chest stays lifted, really working that leg, really extending through your lifted leg. Four, three, push through the heel. Two, now hold it low. You lift and lower again. Lift and lower. That right booty, my supporting leg, is feeling it. I'm squeezing up through that back lifting leg for four, three, Two, hold it up. You bend and press down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up. Now make sure you're not up tall. I really want you hinged over that thigh. Four, three, two, last one, pulse to finish. Take little pulses for eight, seven. Keep that supporting leg bent for three, four, two, and one. Whew, stretch it out. Take a breath here. Roll up that ankle if you need to. All right, opposite leg is down. You're shaking out your butt. Bend the supporting leg, hinge front over it, hands are down. We lift and we lower. Your hips are squared. You're really reaching through that lifting leg. Again, your supporting leg is bent because you're eventually gonna feel it all through that booty. Make sure not to arch the back. Make sure to pull the stomach in, lifting and lowering. Now the lifting leg, I don't want it bent. I want you to reach Long through that toe. I want you to find energy through that lifting leg. Squeezing up. Reaching tall. Good. Maybe your supporting leg starts to feel a little bit of work here. That's awesome. Keep it squeezing up as you lift for four, three, two. Now hold it up. Lift up a little taller. You press, bend, and press. I'm pushing through the heel of this leg. Now I'm making sure my leg bends all the way, straight to squeeze. Bend, straight to squeeze. It works as you press down into the floor. Now don't forget about your lifting leg. Keep it long, keep it high, keep it extended. 
Maybe you barely touch this counter. If you really feel like you're advanced, reach your arms behind you. Completely try to balance here for three, two, last one. We hold it low. Again, you lower and lift to squeeze. Lift to squeeze. Now your supporting legs are really going to feel it here. It's holding that lower body. It's holding that butt really, really tight for four, three, two, hold it up. We press up ten, nine, eight. Keep that hinge front seven. You got this. Six, five. Maybe you reach your arms back. Four. Don't face plant. Three, two, one. Hold that leg. You pulse it. Ten. Up nine. Up seven. Reach it. Six. I missed a, I missed a number. I said nine, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it. Three, two, one. And rest. Cross that leg over, take a breath. Make sure you really open up those hips. Make sure you really stretch out your butt. Stretch out your sides on your sink. Thank you all so much for watching and for joining me. If you even can remember one or two exercises, try to do them while you're cooking. Or if you have enough space, you can do this whole workout with me in your kitchen. Let me know in the comments below how you did. Was it a little too hard? Was it too easy? Did you feel a burn? Was it just right? Thank you all. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you next week. Peace.